Now let us learn about stethoscope. Stethoscope was first discovered by René Lenach. So René Lenach is the scientist who discovered this stethoscope in 1816. So let us see how he discovered stethoscope. What he did previously, doctors used to check heartbeat by keeping their ear on patient's heart. Previously, doctor used to check the heartbeat by keeping their ears like this on the chest region and they used to observe the heartbeat. But René Lenayek, what he did is he used the paper to check the heartbeat. So he kept the paper tube on the chest region where heart is located and the other end he kept his ear to observe the heart heartbeat. Later on he replaced this paper with a bamboo stick. With bamboos he replaced the paper and he made a stethoscope. So the credit goes to René Lidayek because first he did experiment with the paper and then he changed the paper and he used the bamboo sticks. Then let us see activity 3. Activity 3 is nothing but take a paper, one white paper. This should be 10 inch long and the diameter should be 1 inch diameter. So what is diameter? So this is a circle. And from here to here it is called as diameter. So the diameter should be 1 inch and it should be length should be 10 inch. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So that you need to keep in your mind. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. It's nearly 21 centimeters length. And here take 2.5 centimeters diameter, 2.5 centimeters, that is one inch. Take the diameter and then you keep to your friend's chest region where heart is located. On the chest region you keep and observe the heartbeat. You can find the or you can observe the, you can listen the heartbeats. So this is the activity in conducted. This was the experiment conducted by the Linnaeus, René Linnaeus. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Here we'll take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Take here person A. Yes. Now let us find out his pulse rate or heartbeat for one minute. Take one minute here. So for one minute, what you will observe? For one minute, so this graph will indicate the pulse rate. So what is pulse rate? You check here, keep the hand here and observe the rhythmatic beatings. Check the pulse here and for one minute, how many times it is going to get this rhythmatic beating you observe and that is 72 times. Then later on you check the heartbeat. So keep your stethoscope on the heart and observe the heart. Then you are going to see for one minute same 72 times you are going to get it. So what is this? This is heart beat per one minute. So heart beat per one minute pulse rate is both 
same because you are getting pulse rate 72 times and heartbeat per one minute is also 72 times but pulse we should check in the wrist region heartbeat we should check near the heart in chest clarification you can do one more thing also you check your heartbeat your pulse rate and check your friends or your uh, family members and note down their heartbeat and their pulse rate you will get the same result now let us learn about human heart or mammalian heart because human beings goat cow these all belongs to mammals so let us learn about mammalian heart structure of heart let us see the location of the heart so location heart is located in between two lungs and it is fit in the cardiac notch of left lung first let me draw the diagram of lungs so this is lung and here we have a notch a gap so this place is called as cardiac notch this is a space which is present in left lung this is right lung r i g h right lung so this is right lung this is left lung in left lung there is a space for heart and heart fits into this and this place is called as cardiac notch so what do you call this place this place is called as cardiac notch and in this place heart is located heart is located in between two lungs in cardiac notch of left lung so heart is located between two lungs in cardiac notch in cardiac notch of left lung let us see the protection let us see the protection heart is protected by ribs it is protected by ribs heart is made up of three membranes the walls of heart is made up of three membranes and what are the three membranes outer is epicardium then middle one is the middle membrane is myocardium myocardium and the inner one is called as endocardium inner one is endocardium so the wall of heart is made up of three membranes outer membrane is epicardium middle is myocardium inner is endocardium this is completely made up of a muscle cardiac muscle again this outer epicardium is made up of two layers of membranes these are made up of two layers of membranes and these two layers of membranes are called as pericardial membrane peri cardial membrane and this two pericardial membrane between these two pericardial membrane a fluid is filled and that fluid is called as pericardial fluid what do you call that fluid between these two membranes a fluid is present and that fluid is called as pericardial fluid 
what is the use of this pericardial fluid this fluid helps the heart from shocks it protects the heart from shock so if you consider the protection first is heart is protected by the ribs water ribs in chest region we have bones so these bones they are jointed and they protect our heart and lungs so first protection is given by the ribs that is nothing but bones in chest region the second is second protection is given by pericardial fluid where these pericardial fluids are present these are present in pericardial membrane heart is protected by two things one is ribs second one is pericardial fluid i i hope size of the heart what is the size of the heart f5 the size of our heart is our own fist so this is the size of my heart because this is my fist and this is the size of my heart the next one is shape pear shape our heart is pear shaped structure the upper side or anterior side is wider and lower side is narrow so triangular in outline pear shaped structure let us see the weight weight of the heart the weight of heart the weight of heart in males and females are different in males it is 280 to 340 in males it is 280 to 340 then in case of females in case of females it is 230 to 280 grams 230 to 280 grams so these are not kgs these are in grams so the weight in case of male is different in case of female is different in males it is 280 to 340 grams in females it is lesser than males that is 230 to 280 grams now let us see the real heart this is mammalian heart this is not a real human heart but this is a real heart of a goat so goat and human beings they belongs to the same class that is mammals so let us see uh, the structure of heart that is mammalian heart this heart is similar to human heart that's why i have taken a goat heart this side of the heart is called as ventral side that means front side front side is called as ventral side and back side that is called as dorsal side dorsal and back side is one and the same so this is dorsal or back side and this is front or ventral side of the heart so let us see the location of the heart i already told you heart is present between two lungs in in cardiac notch this place is called as cardiac notch of left lung then this heart is protected by pericardial fluid where this pericardial fluid is present between the two layers of membranes called as pericardial membrane so this heart the upper membrane is made up of two layers of membranes that is called as pericardial membrane and these two pericardial membranes are filled with a fluid called as pericardial fluid and this protects from shocks and next the size the what about the size the size is our own fist then see the shape of the heart this is pear shape you might have seen the pear fruit 
so this is the shape of a pear fruit and this is upper side or this upper side is wider and lower side is narrow you can see here upper side is more wider and here is very uh, narrow so upper side is called as anterior lower side is called as posterior so anterior region is wider posterior side or lower side is narrower that's why it is just outline triangular Let's see the weight in males it is 280 to 340 grams in case of males it is little bit lower in case of females that is 230 to 280 grams now let us see the lab activity that is internal structure of heart so i am going to dissect this heart and i am going to explain you the inside structures inside parts of the heart lab activity lab activity So, what is the aim of this activity? Aim to observe internal structure of mammalian heart. To observe the internal structure of mammalian heart so that is our aim what are the materials are required to conduct this lab activity materials or you can say apparatus so we need one goat heart or a sheep heart take sheep or goat heart collected from the butcher who is the butcher butcher is a person one who cuts the goat and sells it so you go to that a uh, mutton shop or butcher and then you collect the mammalian heart then you need one tray scissor you need scissors then straw blade these things are required goat heart tray is required scissors are required straw is required and blade is required and we also need water So first you take the tray and take the mammalian heart, completely wash it and drain it because heart contains blood. So completely wash it and keep the heart in the tray. So now our heart is ready. Then what you have to do? Take the heart, take the scissor, dissection scissor and cut it then you will get the internal you can observe the internal structure of the heart now let me draw the diagram of a heart so it's very easy to draw the diagram I think you know M so draw M then you know V then you slightly So this is human heart. Human heart is made up of four chambers, like four rooms we can say. So this is first chamber, 
second, third, fourth. So these are made up of four chambers and out upper two chambers are called as auricles and lower two chambers are called as ventricles. So this is, see generally this is my right hand. So always when you label the diagram, you have to think that this side parts are right side and my this hand is left hand. So this side parts are left, left side parts. So this is right, right auricle or we can say atrium also, atrium, this is left atrium, atrium is singular, atria is plural, then this is right ventricle this is left ventricle this auricles uh, uh, auricles ventricles of left side and auricles and ventricles of right side are separated by a wall and this wall is called as septum so this is septum so this is separating so you know that in your bedrooms if you have two bedrooms side by side two bedrooms are separated by a wall in the middle the same way here right atrium and right ventricle right side atrium and ventricles are separated from left side atrium and ventricles by a wall is called as septum mammalian heart contains four chamber that is upper sides are atrium lower sides are ventricles so this is right because this is right side so this is right atrium this is right ventricle this is left atrium this is left ventricle and these two right side and left side atrium and ventricles are separated and this separating wall is called as septum your homework is draw the internal structure of heart.